Libra. Welcome to November's Tarot Forecast with me. My name is Brooke and welcome to Lunar Fate Tarot. This reading is for all those born under the sign of Libra, Sun rising as well as your moon sign. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can email me at lunafaytarot at gmail.com. That email is in the description box below. Also with a link to my website, you can check out the readings that I do offer as well. Thank you so much for my new subscribers and for everyone supporting my channel. And let's get started, Libra. The first card in your theme or atmospheric elements position, we see the Nine of Pentacles. Very much about feeling financially independent, especially for Libran women this month. So Libra, you're feeling financially stable. Many of you may be also be feeling very outwardly independent and single and not having to depend on anybody not only financially but very much aware of what you've created in your lives very much aware of your surroundings that you've created for yourself this card is also a very feminist card as well having your opinions validated speaking your mind uh, matching the salary of perhaps your male counterpart could be associated with this card a very good financial stable card especially for Libra women but also very notable for Libra men as well so that's a very good card to have in your theme or the atmospheric elements position for the month of November moving forward Libra we have the magician card now I was just reading about the magician card in between videos uh, from a book that I have called Wiccan magic and they have a chapter actually about the magician card and I was just perusing through it and I saw it and I was like oh interesting so it's very much connected to the phrase of as below as above so below so the connectedness of thought processes or manifestations that have that you have in your mind are very much connected to everything else connected with you physically spiritually etc so the magician card is a great card for manifestations it's a great card of creating it's a great card of you're not innocent in terms of what you want in your life you're building it okay Libra you're building it for the month of November you may have been building it the last few months you're building it high manifestation times for Libra and whatever you're cultivating or calling upon or trying to manipulate the energies or even just focusing upon has great power to manifest for you in the month of November. These are the present energies for Libra, which is very interesting. This card's a card of alchemy as well and of creating and creation. So this is a great card of intelligence, of drive, using the forces of energy, and going for it and manifesting and bringing in what you want for the month of November. And this symbol of the sideways, sideways, if I can speak, the sideways eight is a symbolism of infinity or, or eternity as well. So whatever you want to create and manifest for November, Libra, has great possibilities of coming about. The Magician card is a very magical card. I'm glad to see that. Now, in the past position, we see the Knight of Cups. So there has been movement recently. This could be on an emotional plane for many. This also could be in terms of emotional fulfillment. Libra, you're manifesting. You're going after something. Perhaps you're wanting to create something in your future. This is a card of direction and a card of movement, especially emotionally. There could have been, for many of those that are watching, there could have been proposals, there could have been new suitors coming through the door, there could have been actual invitations invitations or proposals on an emotional level. This also could be an emotional fulfillment of some kind that you, Libra, have created for yourself coming out of the past and it's headed and it's going into a new direction. So this doesn't have to be romantic per se, but there's definitely movement or new direction emotionally validated for Libra coming out of the past. In the challenge position, we see the hanged man. This is in your challenge position in terms of 
even though these things may be happening for Libra, you may not be feeling as if you're too sure about it. There's some sort of indecision perhaps noted. There could be confusion. There could be instability because things are not set in stone yet. If you're going through some sort of change, Libra, that's leading you into something else, especially in the next year. This could be a new career direction, new relationships. This could be even new friendships, new circle of friends, something where Libra is being taken into a new realm. You may still be a bit unsure about it because it's new, it's just coming in, it's just changing. Many of you may be feeling a bit hung up in the air about a major decision to make. There could be instability of some kind. This is in your challenged position. It does not mean that this is the end all be all feeling forever. This is just perhaps something that you may still be dealing with in decision wise for the month of November in your challenge position. Now moving forward, in the outcome we see the four of swords. So towards month's end, you're going to have a moment of relaxation, retreat, respite. You're going to be able to take a break from things and to know and trust that you've made the right decisions that if life has been a little crazy and hectic, you're going to be able to slow down a little bit towards the month's end, Libra, and to realize that all is well and to give yourself a well-deserved break, especially if you've been running on all cylinders about something. So towards the month's end, it's going to be a, a retreat. It's going to be a break. Many of you may be taking holiday or taking a mini weekend getaway somewhere just to reboot, to recharge your battery. So Libra, you have a really solid reading for the month. It's very positive. Good luck to you. Keep me posted. Tell me how everything goes. Have a great month, and I'll speak to you soon.